So can you just explain to us the experience you down the experience you had down here? Uh, we were here during the off season and we were cleaning up and I was on the second floor by myself sweeping. I was listening to my music, just not really paying attention to much. I was down in the makeup room and I just put all the chairs up on the tables after cleaning them and I was sweeping the floor and I heard this loud bang and I turned around and one of the chairs from the far wall over by the window had flown into the middle of the floor and crashed. Was it um, headed in a direction like it was towards coming me. towards you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, How did you react? I just told them that I knew they didn't like to be ignored and please don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I've had experiences since I was little, so I knew it was true, but that's the first time I've had something desperately want my attention mm -hmm. so bad to throw something at me. <laughs> well, that's definitely one way to get somebody's attention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to ask now. Have you had any me? other creepy experiences here? Not so much creepy. Uh, I felt like a hand like put their hand right here and like push me on the stairs. And one of our paranormal investigators here, Ken, uh, Ken Potter, has heard the name Varn for the spirit that's on the stairs. Varn, that was the name. And okay. he likes to trick people. And mm -hmm. if you don't say hi and stuff, he will push you. And I have felt the hands. And that's the like, stairs down the to basement. the basement? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Definitely weird, but the chair thing is the biggest thing that was like, okay, this this is weird. <laughs> now, how did you get into to volunteering here? Are you an investigator? Are you a skeptic? Honestly, I'm going to college to be a business administrator, and okay. Shauna needed help with the business side of it, and doing like inventory on our jewelry and our t-shirts and all that. And, because that's what I'm going to college for. She recruited me. Cool. <laughs> so, um, were you a skeptic before you came into this position? Are you still a skeptic? Or are you more of a believer? I mean, I've always experienced like small things because I lived in a house that was on an Indian burial ground, and like I had always seen like weird Indians and stuff in my house. So I knew stuff happened and I knew stuff existed, but I didn't realize they could all be trapped in a central building like yeah. this is. Because yeah. there's been pictures and weird stuff that he showed me of kids talking and stuff down in the basement saying that they're trapped. And well, that's scary. scary. Yeah. Really? Do you want to talk a little bit about the Texas Fairgrounds and your part in that? Because that's here as well in the basement. Yeah, uh, Texas Fairgrounds is a haunted house that runs the month of October. We do $20 for a person, but you get a discount if you bring a canned good, and all the canned goods go to a food bank here in Mineral Wells. <laughs> it's a really great cause. It helps underprivileged kids here in town feed them and stuff. It's a great cause. And Shauna's actually really great about it because we actually just, when our haunt season finished, we ran an entire haunted house event, and every bit of the proceeds went to quadra graduation for the Mineral Wells seniors. Oh, that's amazing. Because... The senior classes suck so bad this year with COVID mm -hmm. and stuff. They haven't yeah. got to have prom. They didn't get to have homecoming. Mm -hmm. They didn't get to have their senior day off or anything. And Shauna wanted to make it special for them, so she did that. You mentioned the basement. Have you been here and when other things have occurred and people talk about or? I've heard lots of stories. Um, the table, the chair, and the partial touching me is the only thing I've personally experienced, but. My mom actually came up here with a different crew that was doing an investigation, and she messed up and wore a Jesus shirt. And they messed with her so hard. Oh, wow. Really? Wow. Uh, they, other people that was with her said that a black mist around her, and she lost her breath, and they actually had to go out to the car and get her inhaler. Wow. There we go. Yes. You're just talking about asthma, asthma. in the crematorium. It's, it's, mm -hmm. that was creepy. And then Mr. Kim right there with our paraparanormal, he has amazing stories of stuff he's caught. Do you mind if we um, interview maybe five minutes? Oh, well, that'd be great. Yay! Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank so you, you so very much. Uh, uh, can you tell I like talking about this? <laughs>